How's it going guys? Joe Sway back again with another video on Hear Me Raw. And today I want to talk about the meaning behind be the change that you want to see in the world. I'm sure you've seen that saying. So it's a saying by Gandhi. And many people quote it. I even quoted it on my Instagram like a couple years ago before I fully understood the meaning of being the change. You know, um, we come from a background of not really knowing the universal laws. And the universal laws, you can look you can look those up, the universal laws, sometimes there's seven universal laws, so sometimes there's 14. There's a couple of different ones, um, depending on how it's said. There's also the hermetic principles, but they all kind of, they're just the natural laws that everybody plays by. They are like man-made laws, but then there are universal laws. So man-made laws are just like made up, but you, the universal laws, every being in existence has to play by these rules, no matter what, whether they are conscious of it or not. And part of us is always conscious of it, you know. Our subconscious mind is always awake. Our higher self is always with us. So we do have this inner knowing. We have this intuition that knows about the universal laws and plays with the universal laws and understands the universal laws. And you can come to a better understanding of the universal laws by disconnecting. By disconnecting from the matrix, quote unquote. Because the matrix is there to kind of keep you distracted. It's distracted so much that you don't actually see the world around you. It limits your view. Especially in the United States. You got the fact that they, they're still putting so much fluoride in our water. They're spraying the skies. They are making sure they're acting as if we are better than nature. So we try to conquer nature. That we have to build cities over nature. That we have to destroy nature. We have to do all this. We're, we're not living in harmony with nature. We're doing the opposite of what we are. In the matrix, we're literally covering ourselves up. We are trying to make nature better. And that's not what we are here for. We're here, we're, we're here as part of nature. We're here to help nature expand. We're here to help nature see different points of view and learn from these different experiences so that nature can be even more loving, you know? So nature can be even more loving. And you can say nature, you can say God, you can say the universe. It is all the same. You can say ether, you can say energy, frequency. It's literally just doing its best to kind of expand on both ends of the spectrum, positive and negative. It's all one, light and dark. It's all one. At the end of the day, it's all about really finding a balance. In all that, it's about finding a balance. We always strive for balance. When we are balanced, we are happy. But in order to be balanced, we kind of have to know both sides of the scale. And then we kind of know what we don't want. We know what we do want. And we're kind of inclined to try to go for after, go after what we do want. And But at the beginning, we fool ourselves into, you know, forgetting everything that we know. Like our higher self knows everything already. But our third dimensional self or, or physical self or lower self, quote unquote, which is not really lower, but it's just a different self has no memory <laughs> but but as you know we go through our journeys we remember we get triggered we go to these events and get triggered we meet these people and get triggered we get these these deja vus we get this feeling like we've been here before we get we, we start realizing we know things and like how do i know this like what is this knowing coming from and this is all part of the beautiful, beautiful journey of going within and learning more about yourself and learning more about the world. When you learn more about yourself, you learn more about the world because you are the world. As within, so without. Your physical that your physical reality outside of you is a reflection of your subconscious mind. It's a reflection of what's going on inside of your mind, inside of your heart. Like it's it's your it's essentially your higher self projecting an image for you. Literally, your, your higher self will project an image for you, will project a situation for you that is best for you to learn a specific lesson. So that, so that way, then you can learn this lesson and then you can share it with the world. Your story is your most prized possession. Your story is everything. Who you are is everything. Your journey is everything. What you have gone through, nobody else in the world has gone through it exactly the way that you do and nobody thinks exactly the way that you do. So that is your greatest power there. So do not ever lose that. And then for being the change you want to see in the world, after you've gone through all that, after you've realized this, and you start you start your journey of knowing yourself, and that's when you start to grow. That's when you start to be more comfortable. You start to you start to own who you are. You start to not care so much about what other people think. You start to just follow your heart. You follow your bliss. You follow your intuition. You follow your gut, and it will lead you to the most beautiful places. 
So in part of being, being the change you want to see in the world, part of that also is, is focusing only on what you would like to happen. So you have a goal in mind. And honestly, I like, I think the best goal in mind to just make it simply simple for everybody is to just express yourself. If you got something inside of you, express it. Let it out. Don't get in its way. Surrender. Surrender to life. Surrender to nature. Surrender to God. Surrender to your higher self. Because what you want, your higher self wants it to. And your higher self will make sure that you get it. The universe will make sure that you get it. Whatever you focus on, the universe will conspire. All the forces of the universe will conspire to help you get it no matter what it is because the universe doesn't care about good or bad it's like you want something like you have free will so yes your intuition may tell you that to, to do this to do that but you have the choice to say no and do something else you have the choice to go against it that is your free will and that's also a reason why i make videos all the time talking about it's not our job to save people if somebody wants to do something let them do it we're not here to control them we can advise them we can inspire them to the best of our ability but at the end of the day it is their choice and it's tough it's tough because people are making some crazy, crazy bad choices out there, but I made some bad choices in my past, but I learned from those, and I'm so much better for it. I'm so grateful. I'm even grateful for my kidney stones. I'm grateful for getting fired. I'm grateful for my car getting repossessed. Like, so many things, bad things have happened in my life, but, you know, when everything is stripped away from you, you start to question who you are because then you realize, like, am I really this job? Am I really my material possessions? Am I really my, you know, my achievements? What am I? And you get to the point where you're just like, I am me. I am life. I am nature. I am God. I am love. I am human. I am expanding. I am growth. I am change. I am frequency. I am light. I am chaos. I am darkness. I am, you know, I am love so there's 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 many we are everything and nothing at the same time we're very complex you know um but it's all beautiful but yeah focus on what you want to create because whatever you focus on will happen you don't attract what you want you attract what you are and what you are is like what your thoughts are what your actions are what your emotions are so all of that is literally just you know you think something, you're putting energy out there. You feel something, you're putting energy out there. You know, so if you can actually be aware of what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're doing, if you're actually doing it consciously, you can create your own reality piece by piece. And then if you really are aware, you will see the pieces coming together right in front of you. You will also get signs. You will get signs from the animals. You will get signs from aliens. You will get signs from the angels. You will get signs from nature. You will get you will get the angel numbers. You know, you will get signs. You might see feathers. You might see coins. You might like you know get a specific amount of change. You might be having synchronicities with people around the world. Like magical things will happen, and you will know that you are in alignment. And you will know that the change that you want, you are creating it. And by not focusing on, on what you don't want, then you're not giving energy to that anymore. The energy that you could you could have been putting towards what you don't want in terms of like complaining and things like that and bashing and you know, being angry, you can use that energy to follow your dreams. Use that energy to follow your dreams. Use the path of least resistance. Don't waste your energy. Your energy is precious. Make sure that you're in a good environment. Make sure you're surrounding yourself with good people. Do your best. You know, you don't have control 100% of the time. So, like, you know, wake up early. Do your meditation. Do your yoga. Do your affirmations. You know, go for a nature walk. Go for a run. You know, <laughs> watch some inspirational videos. Feed your mind when you have the time while people are still sleeping. And then when you go throughout the day, you'll be calmer. You know, remember to breathe. Remember to relax and remember to just be. And remember to enjoy this experience. And that... Also remember that the earth is a library, you know, and people are like walking books, people are walking universes, people are walking worlds with, with so much information, with so much knowledge within them. Pay attention to people, pay attention to events, pay attention, be present. In the present moment, there are plenty of presents for you. It's called the present for a reason. So be in the present and I guarantee you, man, magical things will happen. And in the present, you can be that change. In the present, you can be love. You know, you can cut, you can stop cycles of pain, you can stop cycles of hatred, you can stop cycles of, you know, of self-hatred, of self-loathing, of, you know, lack of appreciation. You can stop those cycles by showing people, when people come to you, they're not going to see that fear. You can stop those cycles of fear, you can block it right there, because you can be very loving to them. You can stop, you can break that cycle of disconnection, because you can connect with them. You can give them a hug, you can pull them in real close, heart to heart, make them feel that you see them, make them feel 
that you hear them, you know, let them know that you acknowledge them, give them a smile, little things like that go a long way, you never know whose life you are impacting, so do your best to be in the present now so you can be that change. If you like this video, hit the like button below, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one, peace, and of course the social media links are in the description down below, um, hit me up, peace.